In a minute, we, I'm gonna send you. Okay. The effectiveness of the black man. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Greetings. Today, we would like to bring you the knowledge to the umpteen power. Umpteen power. Free. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder why I keep it going on. Hold it right there. It's like a jungle. The planet Earth. It's a jungle. That's right. <laughs> now we are here in a concrete jungle. I see you looking at me, little yeah, Chinese look, man. Yeah. <laughs> Come out at me. Yeah. Look at her. Yeah. All, right, all praises. All praises. Want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. The teachers' word of truth and sincerity. Shalom to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe. Preaching in the word and in the name of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai. You know, the house of David. You know what I mean? Hey, we just do a real quick video, Lord willing, it won't be too long. Uh, I know you brothers already heard the update uh, of this guy who you see on the screen, uh, Ricky Harris, being put to death. You know, the Lord took his ass up out of here by way of a heart attack, stopped his heart, okay, and got him up out of here at the age of 53. You see people on, on the internet, some of his inter entertainment friends, all sad and somber. You know, and all all messed up in the spirit because one of their homeboys or their so-called co comedic legends has passed away. But guess what? It was judgment. He got put to death because of judgment. All right. He probably woke up, thought it was gonna be another Christmas day, you know, or, or, or day after Christmas. You know, went to sleep thinking that everything was cool, and he woke up to die just to go back to sleep again. Now he's in his right mind. Okay, because. One, one thing is for sure, two things is for certain that we all got to face judgment. Esau is about to face his judgment for what he's done to the children of Israel, how he's destroyed the earth and mocked the Most High when the Most High said he's not mocked. And guess what? This dude, Ricky Harris, his dumbass, he was mocking the Most High. All right? He was mocking the Most High. Him, right along with his buddy Mike Epps, man, and like the brother from the uh, GMS Great Waters, the brother Zion said, man, hey, Mike Epps, you might be next, nigga. Lord willing, you next, nigga, and all the rest of you scoffers. Because just because he's laughing and making mockery doesn't mean that he wasn't scoffing. That's a scoffing move, man. You know, it, this word that we speak on the on the corners on this YouTube that we speak is not is not a word that you be taking lightly. Okay, us being out on the highways and byways, we're sacrificing ourselves for a better and greater cause. And that's for your how about you, how shot. We're making our bodies a living sacrifice so for to have somebody uh casually making a joke walking about up and down the street like it's all funny okay it shows you that one that jacob is foolish you know the scriptures say my people are uh are, uh sadish they have not known me okay and that's right and unbeknownst to ricky ricky uh harris okay unbeknownst to him he's an israelite man but like the scripture's about to say, he ain't know the Lord, man. Now he do. Now he do. He in his right mind now. Now he up there feeling sorrowful and shameful for what he's done, man. Amongst all the other wicked shit he's done in life, man. But that particular case happened to be caught on camera, man. For all to see, man. And even in his death, he's being uh he's being uh shown to be a, a, a foolish one, man. And now what? Now he's being made a mockery, man. The Lord made a mockery of him by putting his ass to death. This is Jeremiah 4 and 22. It says, 
for my people are is foolish. They have not known me. They are saddest children. Because if he knew the fear of the Lord, he wouldn't have went out there. Him and Mike Epps wouldn't have went out there and played the fucking fool and, and took this thing as a joke, man. And a lot of you scoffers out there, you taking this word as a joke, man. A lot of you scoffers coming against the men of the Lord, starting off with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and to the rest of us brothers on down, you coming up and you making mockery of us, you making, uh, uh, you scoffing at the word, you think it's a game. But when a lot, when the majority of you scoffers die, y'all not gonna make it on, y'all may not, uh, your life story not gonna make it on TV. And nobody gonna be on the internet saying, rest in peace to Baloo, rest in peace to, uh, to Yakanai, man. To two hearts. Nobody's gonna say that, man. You niggas gonna die the death of a dog, and then that's it, man. You gonna get your judgment, man. Okay? So again, uh, Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish, they have not known me. They are sodish children, and they have none understanding. That's right. The word sodish means stupid. And they have none understanding, because if Ricky Harris had any understanding, he wouldn't have did what he did, man. But good for that nigga, man. Good for that nigga. All right, now you in your right mind. Now you standing in the front of the throne, the same throne we out here preaching. You standing in front of your how about shimmy how was shy. The same power we're out here preaching. Okay. And guess what? They got those ancient Israelite garments on, man. Are you making fun of them now? No, you're not, man. You scared now, but you in your right mind. You an Israelite. You know you're an Israelite now, and you know what you did was stupid. Now you're going to go to sleep and you're going to wake up in the kingdom as one of the children of the, uh, of the elect, man. Lord willing, we some of those men. And then you're going to be in your right mind. For my people are as foolish, they, it's like, for my people as foolish, they have not known me. They are saddest children and they have none understanding. Again, if you scoffers had any understanding, you wouldn't do this, man. You wouldn't scoff at the men of the Lord. You wouldn't scoff at the Lord's word. You wouldn't scoff at all. You'd be trying to get right. But you don't have no understanding. They are wise to do evil, and that's right. What you see this dude doing on the screen, walking up and down in New York, with, 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 uh, dressed up like a, 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 a Israelite, make a mark of his own nationality, that's evil. So he, he it says they are wise to do evil, but to do good they have not. They have no knowledge. He was a grimy ass nigga in life. You know what I mean? He was wise to do that. He even got rewarded for doing such a thing. But to do good, he don't know. He didn't know. Okay? This is Proverbs uh, chapter uh, 14, verse 9. Fools make a mock of sin, but among the righteous there is favor. That's right. Fools make, fools make a mock at sin. And what is sin, man? The transgression of the law, the breaking of the law. The niggas the shaped up. The niggas' uh, uh, heads wholly covered. Okay? Okay, them niggas uh, are blaspheming the, the word of the Most High. All right? Just like the rest of you two-third niggas out here, you make mockery of sin. Eating shrimp, crab, pork, and lots. We tell you not to eat those kinds of things, but you mock it. We tell you that taking an RFID chip, you, is a, you're going to be destroyed by the Most High, but you niggas take potato chips on your hand and claim that's the chip, man. So uh, only a fool would do that. It says... Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. That's right. Fools make a mock at sin. And you seen that nigga Ricky Harris, he made a mock at sin, man. Going off, he, he made a joke about it. But among the righteous there is favor. Who's the righteous? The, the men striving for truth until death. The men out here preaching in the name of, of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, giving you the 100% truth. Starting off with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the brothers on down. I gotta keep saying that, man. Because, um, but among the righteous, there is favor. So the Lord going to show us favor. Okay? This is Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. The Most High, Yahweh Shai, is not mocked. And whatsoever a man soweth, that shall also he reap. And he sold that, he sold it. He sold, he sold destruction to his own soul, man. And he reaped it. Ultimately, he reaped it by being by dying of a heart attack at 53. You got your friends talking about, oh, you were so young. Uh, pray for his family. We're not praying for his family. Actually, we're rejoicing. One, 
because he's in his right mind now. He knows he's an Israelite. He knows that this is not a game. He knows that this is serious. And then and, and he's gonna be praying for the elect. He's praying for the elect. Okay. We're we're rejoicing because of that, man. Because we know the most is not to be mocked, man. Why you think we move with fear and we go out here on these highways and byways and we do these sit downs and we, we uh, watch these live shows and we get on a comment board and, and, and comment things that's going to edify the body, okay? Because we're moved out of fear because we know that the most is not to be mocked. And so for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap, man. And a lot of you, he's an example to a lot of these you scoffers out there, man. There's gonna be many more of you scoffers gonna get put to death, man. Lord willing, that nigga Mike Epps is next, man. Cause the Lord got a hit list, man. And he don't gotta check it twice, man. He got a hit list with a lot of you scoff, with all you scoffers' names on the top of it, man. Okay, he got a hit list, and them angels they move out, and they gonna they gonna they gonna get the number. And when the Lord call you to go up. To the spirit world, you gotta go. You ain't got no choice, man. Okay? For all of that, all of that vanity that you live in in life was for naught. Okay? Daniel's 12 and 1. I'm Salaki. Uh Daniel 12 and 2. It says, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to everlasting shame and everlasting contempt. That's right. A lot of you, you, you scoffers, you're going to be shameful. You're going to wake up to the everlasting life in the kingdom, and you're going to be shamefaced. Polite, you're going to be shamefaced. Saw nigga, you're going to be shamefaced. Uh, what's that, that nigga name that dressed up like an Egyptian pharaoh? Uh, Shaka Utmost. That nigga, Shaka, Shaka Notmost. Shaka Homos. He's going to wake up to everlasting shame and contempt. Okay? Ricky Harris. He's already tasting that everlasting shame and contempt right now. But he's going to wake up in the kingdom for that, man. Polite, your, your name, you, you might be next, nigga. Mr. I want to shoot up the Bible. Mr. I want to make a mockery of the Lord. You on the breakfast club saying the Lord's name. You got a uh, side nigga making, making mockery of, of, the, uh, of the grief that we do. Okay? You going to be destroyed, nigga. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to everlasting shame and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Okay? The ones that's gonna uh, wake up to that everlasting life, okay, which is which is gonna be that fame the Lord gonna put on us, that glory is 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 who? The righteous, man. The men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man. But you two-third niggas. Particularly, we speaking about you scoffers. You are gonna wake up to everlasting shame and contempt. Ecclesiastes eleven is uh, locked in. Um, Ecclesiastes eight and eleven. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Here it is. He did this video in two thousand and twelve, man. And it's what two thousand and sixteen. So four years ago, man. He didn't know four years ago when he did what he did that he was mocking it. He was marking himself, man. Him me and Mike Epps, man. Okay? Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. That's right. Because that's that's why that's why you do what you do, you say what you say. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore, the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. And that was evil, man. Okay? This is Hebrews 10 and 11. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 11. It says in every Salakia. I'm sorry. Hebrews 10 and 31. Hebrews 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. That's right. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of your how about shimmy how shy. It is a fearful thing, man. Because can't nobody deliver you up out of that, man. Nobody's going to deliver you up out of that, man. You're going to have to take that judgment that the Most High give you, man. And a lot of you scoffers and you scorners, 
you are going to fall into the hands of the living power your how about shingai was shot and you will not be delivered man you're going to be destroyed you're going to have to suck that destruction up your whole family could be wiped out you could die of a heart attack you can anything you can get popped in the face of the martial law troops going to run down on you that's all the judgment of the lord so it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power for a lot of you that don't believe hey that's okay that's okay because the lord says this this is uh, 2 Numbers 15 and 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithful. Un unfaithfulness, man. All the unfaithful, you're going to die in your unfaithfulness, man. You're going to die in your unfaithfulness. And, that, and that's going to be the end of that, man. Because I, I guarantee you, ain't nobody up in the, in the spirit world making mockery of being an Israelite, man. Them heathens, they wish they could be an Israelites, man. Up in the spirit world, ain't nobody making mark in the name of your how about shimmy how was shy, man. You scared, you on your face, man. Cause even the angels fear and tremble, man. And but the problem is, you don't have a healthy fear of the Lord, man. But the Lord's about to put the healthy fear of his name back in the earth again, man. Or it's gonna be resounding forever and ever, all eternity, man. So much so, you also gonna fear his people, man. The same ones you call niggas and spicks, the same ones you call Indians, the same ones you call nobodies, nothingness, uh, uh, undesirables. You nations, you're going to learn to fear us, man. This is the last scripture. This is Romans 11 and 18. Boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root of thee. Of the, of, slop, but the root of the thee. Let me see what that means. But the root of the thee. The word thee is a uh, uh, of thou, okay, but the root of thee. That's right. You boasting against the branches. Who? What's the branches? The, those 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 branches, olive branches that Yahweh Shai um um left here on the earth, man, to grow. Starting off with the apostles and the elders, a great millstone. The men that's preaching his truth. We're those branches, man. We're those branches, okay. It says, boast not against the branches. When what he was doing was boasting against the branches. That's what he was doing. Him and Mike Epps, man. And that black bitch in the background laughing made a Lord, made a Lord do something terrible to your ass, man. I hope that bitch get burnt up from head to toe, man. And, and, and suffocating a fucking fire, bro. Black, ignorant bitch. You think everything's funny till it ain't funny no more. But the scriptures say, uh, laugh now. Those that laugh now, you're going to mourn, you gonna mourn and, and weep later, man. So it says, boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, which he didn't bear the root, but the root of his own self, man, which is, that's nothingness, man. So with that, I want to give all praise and honor and glory to you. How about you now, Rashad? I want to give up. I want to clap my hands to the death of this wicked ass nigga. And may you, how about you now, Rashad, destroy the rest of you wicked ass niggas out there, man. Make it mockery the truth, man. Hey, the time of repentance is now, man. Instead of playing games, you need to repent to your how about Shimmy Shai. So again, with that, I want to give all praise and honor and glory to your how about Shimmy Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. For Jesus' word and truth and sincerity. Salutations to my fellow Akim, the house of David. Keep pushing on, keep pressing on, keep pushing on, pressing on. We almost out of here. Shalom.